In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this alkene molecule which I have in this picture here. And this picture is from um, the student room. Uh, a user by the name of Yummy Strawberry was wondering if this answer is correct. And so let's take a look at this. What we have here is um, an alkene. And there's four carbons. And the double bond is at the one. Well, okay, the numbers have started here. So one, two. The double bond is located after the second carbon. So the double bond is on the second carbon. Double bond on the second carbon. So this is a couple of pieces of information which I'm going to be using to answer this question. But before I go on, let's take a look at this answer which. Um, Yummy strawberry suggested for this question. 1,4-dimethylbutuene. And in order to exp to um, demonstrate what this molecule which was suggested actually looks like, I'm going to draw a diagram of it. So let me... Okay, I'll use, I'll use blue for this. C... C... Double bond C. Sorry, my pen seems to be. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, my pen was acting strange just now. Let me let me carry on with this. Uh, C double bond C. And so this is one four dimethylbutuene. So the butuene part suggests that we've got a molecule of butuene. So I'm actually going to join a straight line rather than join the actual kink. I'm just going to join a straight line like this. So straight line. Just so that it's easier to draw the to draw the branches, and so what I have here, um, C H so C H three H H H H H H. So what I've actually drawn here is the molecule of um. Actually, wait. Yeah, there's two hydrogens. And that that will not be able to go above. So what I've drawn here is a molecule of the butuene, and so one four dimethyl butuene suggests that there's a methyl group on the first carbon and a methyl group on the fourth carbon. So let me draw that one now. As you can see from this diagram which I'm drawing, this molecule here, which is 1,4-dimethylbutuene, is not the same as this molecule here. 1,4-dimethylbutuene suggests that you've got a molecule of butuene, and instead of two of the hydrogens which are on the 1 and 4 position, you have two methyl groups and the methyl group is the CH uh, H H and then that would be bonded to whatever so as you can see this isn't quite the correct uh, this wouldn't be quite the correct name for this and the reason for that is looking at looking back at how I draw the but drew the butuene before when you're naming alkenes so let me draw out the molecule again We've got the C double bond to the C and the two C's here. Then we have a hydrogen. Um, does that go? Yeah, it goes above on that one. And so we've got the H's there. H, 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 H. Oh, I seem to have drawn an extra carbon by accident. Let me get rid of that. H, H, and then there's a, yeah, hydrogen here. So this would be, um, this would be butuene. I mean, yeah, yeah, but, butuene. But since, the reason why is because when we're naming alkenes, well, this isn't quite butuene, there's a slight, slight uh, prefix we add on there. But uh, 
I think it was explained in the previous video why we do that. But for this part, the reason why we say it's butuene, because when we're naming alkenes, the difference between the alkanes, so if we imagine this double bond was a single bond for a second, if it was an alkene, we, we just say that it's butane, wouldn't we? So, butane. Whereas since it's not an alkane and it's an alkene, what we need to do is we need to specify that there's a double bond present. And since it's just one, there's not going to be any prefix to the ene part. So we're just going to write uh, but, and then we'd have the position, if there's a variable position. And then we'd have the ene part, ene. Now for this molecule here, as you can see, the uh, position of the double bond is on the one, two, second carbon. So we say it's but two in, but, but two in. Let's get rid of this. But two in, since the double bond is on the second carbon. And the other thing we need to specify, since this has a, a form of isomerism, since there's two different groups on each of these two carbons, so you can see there's a H group and a CH3 group, and there's a H group and there's a CH3 group. So there's isomerism. And since, if we, if we look back at the molecule drawn up here, since they're on opposite sides, so at this part, this is, this is, instead of this part, this one being down here, they're on opposite sides. And that's Z isomerism. So we call this molecule Z, Z butuene. And so yeah, this is why we would call it that. And, and we wouldn't call it uh, one for dimethyl butuene.